if you have less than 33 dragon stones, you got caught lacking today. And you know what that means? Do you know what the punishment is for getting caught lacking? It means you gotta subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. I don't make up the rules. And even if I did just make up the rule, why do you only have 33 or less dragon stones? Like, explain that. You know anniversary. Why? Why? <laughs> if you have more than 33, though, congratulations. Don't subscribe. Don't even like the video. Just sit back, relax, and grab some snacks. Shout out to Corey Kenshin. Let's actually hop into the video. So, the only characters Global is missing from JP is, of course, the AGL Dokkan Fest Frieza, the physical Dokkan Fest Topo, and the LR Ginyu Force. And that is the release order over on JP. This was early March, this was early April, and this was mid to late April here. But Global does not care about the release order. The next characters to arrive on Global will appear as, or will look like as follows. This Frieza will be releasing on, or late May to early June for Global. Every Dokkan Fest that releases early March for JP comes early June for global and a quick example of that would be something like the physical trunks and goten look how they dropped early march for jp and they released early june for global it's just the way they like to do things now the part 2 lr since there is no part 2 lr for frieza because there just wasn't one what they end up doing is they take the part 2 lr from the early april dokkan fest which in this case was the ginyu force and they slap it as the part 2 lr for you know, the early March Dokkan Fest. And again, if you want an example of that, you can take a look at, again, Trunks and Goten. Now, Trunks and Goten did not have a part to LR, right? Because they were the early March Dokkan Fest. But the month after, we got Videl as the early April Dokkan Fest. And the part to LR to Videl was Trunks, Trunks, was Tapion and Minosha. Now, notice how Tapion and Minosha dropped on Global literally, what, two, three weeks after Trunks and Goten, so these two were part of the same exact celebration, which was the celebration right before Global's anniversary, and that's going to be the same exact thing this year. Is it possible that Topo releases now? Yes, it is possible that Topo is the next Ocon Fest, but according to Global's schedule and how they like to do things, that's most likely not going to happen. Freeze is going to release next, and then the Part 2 LR is going to be the Ginyu Force, and then anniversary will happen, right? And then after anniversary happens, between that little two to three week gap between end of anniversary and the worldwide celebration will be one more Dokkan Fest for Global, and that's going to be the physical Topo Dokkan Fest. We already had the Part 2 LR, so we won't have to worry about that. And then, boom, we move straight into the worldwide celebration. That is what is next for Global Dokkan, moving all the way to the worldwide celebration. Please save your Dragon Stones. Please, please, please. If you have less than 33, you might already be cooked. I don't know. I mean, it's, the, luck is definitely a factor. Duff duff what does duff mean luck is definitely a factor luck is definitely a thing and you may be that guy but chances are you're not and look i'm not even trying to throw shade at you because i'm not that guy either i'm not built that way so i i don't know what it's like to be a nano you know what i'm saying i'm more on the truth side of things going 4.5k stones without a single copy of super saiyan blue cock and goku or vegeta but you you, you already know about that hopefully have a great rest of your day good night merry christmas and uh, happy new year